Welcome everyone, I'm Mike Ferris, and in this video I'm going to be using this realistic black with phthalo blue and raw umber for this raven piece in this step-by-step -step lesson. All the colors and materials are listed down in the description box, along with all the traceable images that I use in all of my videos up over on Patreon. So now let's get started. So getting started, I have an 8x10 pre-stretched canvas and I already traced out my image with wax transfer paper and a stylus. And I have a short 3 minute video in the description box on how to use wax paper and transferring images with that. So getting started on my palette, I'm going to have phthalo blue, I have raw umber, violet, cad orange, cad yellow, burnt umber, and titanium white as always. So going to get some burnt umber here, I'm sorry, raw umber and phthalo blue that makes black when you mix those two together so with that i'm going to add some burnt umber into that so just a common sort of dark brown color here and i'm just going to block in this background tree for now and so what i want is fuzzy lines in between all the objects in the background because it's out of focus so as you can see it's not hard lines it's going to be all fuzzed out like that and when i get close to the bird though i want hard lines because that's going to be in focus Okay, without cleaning my brush, I'm going to pick up some yellow now, a little bit of blue into that, and some raw umber to dull that green down. And with this dark army green, I'm going to scratch that here and there and just sort of, again, leave these rough edges. And I'm not using any water for my brush in order to achieve that effect because it's easier with a dry brush to kind of just scrub it on. And it just gives that out of focus look so much better that way. So just here and there, now picking up more yellow to change the value a little bit. And just going to kind of blend that in there. Okay, now I'm going to pick up more burnt umber, a little yellow into that, and some titanium white, and most of that color off my brush because I want this very light brown color. And these are just going to be the indications of a bunch of tree branches and sticks and twigs going everywhere. Alright, without cleaning now, I'm just going to pick up raw umber and just here and there, just going to scratch that in and again, just dry brush that in. Okay, let's get some orange now and a little burnt umber into that, so this brown orangey color. And with my number two flat brush, and just gonna scratch that in here. And again, dry brushing that, and this just adds some bark details, but in a blurred out kind of way. Okay, just a little bit of titanium white now into that value, and I wanna brighten that up just a little bit more. Okay, with a clean brush and our black colors with raw umber and phthalo blue and mostly titanium white you can see it's like this gray color i'm going to stick that right here and i'll build some more color on top of that so now i'm just going to get some yellow and some white and just a touch of burnt umber into that so it's like this dull sort of yellow cream color and i kind of want to make this sort of more glow and like shine happening on the bark here and it also enhances more of that bokeh out of focus sort of effect there. 
So I'm just gonna drag that down a little bit and place him kind of coming down the tree bark like so. Okay, so without cleaning now, just picking up more white into that orangey brown color and let's apply that in some places. Okay, now I'm gonna get some phthalo blue now and a little touch of white to that. So with this, I'm gonna put that here and there. And this is gonna be a sky color that's sort of showing through some of the branches in the tree foliage. Okay, so now adding more titanium white to our sky color because down here at the horizon, I want it just a little bit brighter. So now just picking up some cad yellow by itself and right here, not gonna cover up all that value, but I just wanna show some highlights coming in on some of the foliage. Okay, with just a teeny bit of titanium white on my brush, and I'm just gonna lightly do these little circles, sort of bokeh lights that are coming in from the sun, and just kind of drag these down and show some direct highlight in a bokeh type of way. Okay, so right here I have more background to fill in, so I'm taking that orangey brown color with some titanium white and just gonna fill that in right here. Okay, so with my palette knife now, I'm gonna take this raw umber and phthalo blue to make black now. And I wanted this because when I go to put the highlights on, that white is gonna make that blue show up a little bit more and give it that blue hue. And that's what I wanted for a realistic sort of uh, color that hits the raven even though he's black when you see it in the sunlight it has sort of this little blue hint to it so I'm gonna take my quarter inch angle brush now and with the tip of it I can go in there with precise lines and this is gonna be crisp lines against that fuzzy line out of focus background so I'm gonna put some water on there and in here with these lines is gonna be lighter values so I'm gonna start with darker values first and like I said, some water and I can come down and make these really nice crisp lines like so. So I'll just drag this dark value in and this little tip can help me go around the eye and get into small places with this.
Okay, so as I get down here, I'm not gonna go a straight line. I want some of these broken lines because that shows some feather details that I'm gonna be putting in. So just gonna continue with this dark value. Okay, so no cleaning yet because I'm going to take titanium white to brighten this color just a teeny bit. And so this is just blocking stages, so I'm going to fill in some more shapes now with this lighter value. Okay, going back to our darker value now, no titanium white again, and let's put in down here with this value. Okay, so just want to adjust that color there on that foot there. So I'm going to take some titanium white and you can always adjust colors and put them however. So I'm just going to cover this up just a little bit. Okay, so with the edge of my number two flat brush and very carefully, I'm gonna take that black now and block in the talons.
So now I'm going to go to my script liner brush here and with a script liner y'all want lots of water on this brush and so I'm going to take some of this raw umber and cat orange to it and now some titanium white. So I want this dull but bright orangey color and again lots of water and as I pull it through I'm going to turn the brush and pull it into this nice tip like so. So just with the very tip of it I'm going to go around the eye like so and I'm going to leave this black a little bit in between what's not filled in and this little ring that I'm going around with. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some yellow now into that color. That makes it a little bit more vibrant and it allows it to show up just a little bit more. So lots of water again, pulling through to a point. And with the tip, let's go around one more time and see, I can just rub it off real quick while it's still wet if it goes out of bounds. Or if it dries, you can just cover it up with that black again. So anything you want to do, you can just knock back anything at any time. So don't be too nervous, just kind of go for it. So now I'm going to take this black now, that blue and that brown. And in here, I'm not going to cover the whole eye because I want to leave some room for a direct highlight that's going to be zinging off his eye, making it really shiny and giving it that three-dimensional look. So just going to kind of fill that in kind of to about right here and kind of leave that upper right triangle area showing. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up some titanium white now and go back into our black. And again, there's some blue into that. So this is going to be this dull sort of Payne's gray and a little bit lighter. Lots of water again, pulling through to a point. And with that value, I want to fill in this upper little triangle area like so. Okay, so I'm going to take my script liner brush now and dry it out with this method here that keeps all the bristles together still. And just the tip of it into titanium white. And so this time a dry brush because I want it where I want it the heaviest first and then I want the paint to run off and I kind of want to dry brush this into some of that faded sort of light panes gray color that I put down and not cover all that up. Okay, and now more titanium white and again, same method. And let's brighten that up just a bit and that gives it that real nice shine to it. Okay, so with just the black color again and script liner and just the dry tip, I'm gonna go in and again, just knock back some of that gray and that really makes a nice contrast and nice shine to it. Okay, so now I'm getting some violet and a little bit of that black and then that white into it to bring it up. And let's get a little violet color into this area right here and a little bit of on the wings right here as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into Thalo Blue, some of that raw umber, that's our black again, and titanium white to bring it up just a little bit. And actually a little bit more titanium white, this is our highlight color now. And let's start on top of his head, and with my number two flat in the edge of it, I'm going to scratch in just some of these lines and make the indication of some feather details and how the highlights are hitting some of them. So just going to work this down a little bit, and then kind of right here you can see the little hashes that I'm making. And I'm leaving a little bit of gap here and there and letting some of that dark show through as well. Okay, so with that same highlight color again, I just kind of want to hash in some of these and this is my quarter inch angle brush I'm using for this right here so I'm not really worried about how neat these are or how off these may look because even if you go the wrong direction or it doesn't look like it's flowing too well just take that black and knock it back and also use it to define some of these feather details if they're a little bit too fat or you know whatever you want to do so now I'm just gonna take my number two flat go back into that black again and as you can see, I'm going to knock back some of this now and add some more depth and shadow within the feather details. So you just play these colors back and forth until you like what you see. And the more times you build layers and do this, the better it will just start to become. OK, 
Okay, just gonna pick up some more titanium white again with my number two flat on the edge of it. And just gonna hash now, just here and there, but not everywhere. And let's play this lighter highlight value in. Okay, and again going into our black and let's knock some of this back once again. And so now going back to some violet with that black in there a little bit and some titanium white. So I want to go back into our violet areas now and bring those up just a little bit more. Okay, without cleaning now, just a little bit more titanium white. And right here on the bottom of his beak here, I kind of want to put this striking highlight. And as you can see, that adds more dimension and depth and detail to that. So now some more of that white into our black now with that blue hue. And right on top of the beak here, let's hit some highlight with that. And let's go back into some of that black again with my number two flat. And I want to go on top of the beak again and sort of help with this dimension and sort of 3D effect. So I'm going to hit this little dark, just sort of smidge of a line on the very top like so. And I like to turn my canvas at times because, as you can see, it's kind of hard to get these really fine points in some areas. So with ergonomics and for the sake of not getting carpal tunnel, I encourage you to turn your canvas if need be. Okay, so now more of that green and that dark value into that green with that phthalo blue and yellow. And now more of this blue because I want this sort of light turquoisey green color. And I kind of want to do this reflective sort of light here. As you can see, the value is a little bit different. And that just brings out a little bit more interest to the eye and adds a little bit more realism to it. So now I'm going to take some phthalo blue now without cleaning, a little titanium white and more phthalo blue. I want this more vibrant royal blue color because this is a different type of reflective light on this side of the wings here. So just going to kind of hash in these little feather like shapes and you can kind of do this however. So I'll knock back some of this color as well, but I want to put some of that into where we just did as well right there. Okay, no cleaning and just titanium white now to brighten things up. And just here and there, I want to hit some of those highlights.
So with titanium white into our made black, now let's hit this highlight on this wing here. And while we're at it, let's hit some of the striking highlights on some of this wing down here as well. Okay, now going back into some more black there. And again, my number two flat brush. And I forgot to take this tail out, but that's okay. Just gonna take it out now. And let's just base coat that in. And we'll bring it out to about right like so. Alrighty, now let's take some of this raw umber now and some titanium white. I want this very light sort of brown color here. And this is my number two flat brush. So right here, I'm gonna make these patterns. I'm gonna start with little pressure and then heavy pressure and then lighter, lighter pressure as I leave the canvas to a point like so. So practice these. If you don't get these right away, if this goes too fat, if it's not doing what you want it to do, again, just take that dark color, knock it back, let it dry out for a sec and then come back in again. So just go for it and Again, you can always start and do a fresh new, you know, layout if this doesn't come out the first time. So just gonna hit some lines like so, and this is some more feather details. And I will be knocking back some of this and adding some brighter highlights here and there and making more of a depth and dimension within this so it's not just one flat color. Okay, let's go back into that black again. And like I said, just a little bit of paint on the brush though. And I'm gonna go in there and settle some of those down and create somewhat of a shadow up here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pick up some titanium white into that black again, my number two flat brush here. And let's do a little bit of a striking highlight. I don't wanna take it all the way to the top and cover that black because that really helps to contrast between that and the light background. So just wanna bring out some more dimension and depth on that beak. And now just gonna pick up some more titanium white. And again, I wanna enhance this highlight right here. Okay, after spiffying up that beak there, if that's a word, uh, taking that same highlight color, and let's hit some of these highlights here. So taking again that same black, that blue and that raw umber, and with my number two flat again, let's knock some more stuff back.
Okay, so right here, there's more background to put in. So I'm just gonna take that orangey brown color with a little titanium white into that. Okay, now I'm gonna take that dark brown, that's that black and a little burnt umber into that. And I'm just gonna base coat this log that he's posting up on. Okay, without cleaning now, I took some cad orange and some more titanium white, and let's fill in a value right here on this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that dark brown color again, and let's block in this dead foreground tree right here. And again, I wanna use a little water on my brush because you can see those crisp lines, and that means that this object is also in focus. So no cleaning yet, I'm just gonna take some titanium white and with my number two flat, I'm just gonna dance the edge of it around. And I'm not worried about how neat it is, I'm just getting some base color and just starting to build up some texture and some layers for now. Okay, so going back to that black that I made, let's reinforce these talons here and with lots of water on a script liner. And as I push harder with the liner brush, I make a fatter line. And then as I come just to the point of it with less pressure, that's what comes to making that point. So it's really important to turn the bristles as you do this because that will really use the paint and keep that line very crisp for you as you do that. So now I'll just dip in the tip of the brush now into some titanium white and I'm just going to go here and there and show some texture on some of these talons. Okay now going back into that black again with the script liner and just dabbing it here and there and again creating more texture. So again with my script liner brush now and titanium white and just a touch of raw umber and again lots of water on my brush so I can make it flow like this. I'm going to just take the tip of it and I just kind of want to dance this in and show some bark details and I'll put a little bit more pressure in some places here and there as you can see now it's a little bit fatter of a line. So not worried again about how neat this is just going to go for it and make this wonderful and yet beautiful mess. And I'll come back in there with some dark values and we'll just play this all back and forth and really build up this bark very nice. Okay, now going into that black again with my script liner brush. Again, lots of water and let's dance this in here and there. So however you want to make this, if you want to create patterns, it's all good. This is very freestyle right here and anything goes. And I'm telling you, the more you play these values back and forth, you're going to start to see the crevices and the things that you want to put highlights on and stuff you want to stick more shadows in. So just kind of see what you have. It's kind of like rolling the dice a little bit and just kind of playing with what comes up. And you can make your adjustments from there and really get an idea of where you want to go with this.
Okay, so I'm back to my number two flat brush. And again, with that black, let's block in this right here. This is gonna be a branch that's kind of sticking out towards us a little bit. And so with these branches sticking out, I'm gonna want this shadow. But for now, I'm gonna take some white now and just uh, kind of strike a highlight there and show some round dimension and not cover up all that black, of course. So now just gonna take that light color and again, just apply some more coats and some more values and just kind of see with what kind of values are gonna show through and how I wanna play this out. So with that dark value again, I wanna make sure I have a shadow underneath these branches that are sticking off like so. That really helps bring out some three-dimensional look to it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take and just kinda of go in with this dark stuff here and there. And so now with some titanium white, I wanna go and strike some highlights here and there as you can see, there's one right there. And I'm starting to see some things here and there. So I'm liking that and let's hit a few more highlights with this as well right here. Okay, more highlight right here. Let's strike some of that, bring him out just a little bit. And now with that dark value again, like I said, I wanna make some shadows right underneath these branches that stick off of this log a little bit. Okay, with a clean number two flat brush now and just a teeny bit of titanium white, I mean barely any so you can see through it. I kind of want to make these circular sort of sun rays that have this bokeh light effect to them and you can skip the step if you want. I thought this just added more interest and more enhanced the bokeh out of focus look and would help with more of a contrast against the details. So just a little side there. And then so with that number two flat and more titanium white, I wanted to strike that highlight just a little bit more there. And so now I'm gonna take some of this yellow and some of this thalo blue, and this gets our turquoisey color again, and more titanium white. And I just wanna strike some other highlights with this, just here and there, but not everywhere. Okay, now that this had some time to dry, let's take some titanium white. And one more time, I wanna strike this here. And this really brings out more dimension on that. And let's strike some more highlight stuff here. Okay, with a clean number two flat brush again and just a teeny bit of white again, let's go in and do the same thing and brighten up some more of this background.
Okay, so now let's take some more of this highlight color from our black color that we made and let's go in on the beak one more time with that. Okay, and with just more titanium white and just a teeny bit of the edge of the number two flat brush and I just want to make this really fine little striking highlight detail there. And with that same highlight color, let's go in on the face again and let's do some more of these feather detail highlights. Alrighty, so with my script liner brush now, lots of water in that black, I'm going to sign this piece and I want to thank everybody so much for tuning in and watching and all your support. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet for more video lessons I'll be putting out in the future. And give this one a shot. This is a super simple piece. This is just playing colors back and forth and building up layers till you like what you see. And even if you've never painted, this will definitely work out. And the more times that you apply these layers and do this method, it will just work out and it will amaze you. So with that, just to let you know, Patreon is now available as well, where you can get all my downloadable images for all of my videos now. So check that out. And if you have questions or comments, leave those down below. And until next time, Happy painting, everyone.